it's a new video and you guys are probably like shook because it's title because yo it's another room video you're probably like marla do you ever just settle with what you have no I don't, sorry. So I upgraded my bed size, and so I thought, why not just redo everything again? So I kept a lot of the old stuff, but I also got a new bed. So I just redid my room, and these are the cutest DIYs I have ever done. They're so cute, and they're super inexpensive, and they're perfect for spring. So let's just get into the video. <laughs> So this first DIY is the Dylan O'Bay collage, or in otherwise known as Dylan O'Brien. And this is so cute and it's super funny too. So you guys can choose out any boy that you're obsessed with or you guys can just do Tumblr photos. But I'm gonna be choosing Dylan O'Brien. So you're gonna need some scissors and some tape. And then you're just gonna cut out the person however you want. I'm just doing an outline. And that's it, it's literally the easiest DIY ever. And also, if you download your picks to Costco and then you pick them up, it literally costs three bucks to get like 15 of them. So I would choose to go through that route because it's so much cheaper. And then I'm just using paint safe masking tape and putting them on the back and then putting them in a collage. <laughs> empty space I just put some like fake leaf garlands that I got from the dollar store and I just got two of them and put them side by side so this next one is my inspiration wall and it's just full of inspirational photos and things that I've made that I like and little notes that people have written to me one more. you're gonna need some twine and some scissors and then cut the twine to your length. I decided to do three rows because I thought it looked cute and I made mine messy and then you're going to need some clothespins and then you literally pin the photos or whatever you did on it to the wall. It turned out so cute and this also replaces a headboard so if you don't have a bed frame like a actual bed frame this works perfectly. <laughs> So this last one is called the flower garden and what you're going to need is lots and lots and lots of flowers and I got mine from the dollar store and also from Joann's. You're also gonna need some tape and some scissors. So they came in bouquets so I just cut them individually and make sure you leave the stems that way you can tape them onto the wall. And then I just taped mine to the wall and I think having the tape show is so cute and it just adds to the look. And I put some of mine upside down, some of them facing upwards. I used leaves, I used different color plants, and I made sure all of the plants were somehow like coordinated that way it didn't look too crazy. And then I just didn't even put them in a specific order and it turned out literally so cute. This is probably my favorite DIY. It fills the wall space so easily and it looks just so Tumblr. And the best part is it costs like under 10 bucks to do all of this. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoy and I really, 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 really hope you guys at least recreate one of these. I think I can't choose a favorite because I think they all mesh so well together and they all look so cute. But if you guys do recreate one, I'd love to see them. So just tweet me, Instagram me, DM me, do whatever you want. So yeah, comment down below your favorite one. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!